This is Too Long for a Voice Note, a podcast about everything and nothing at the same time, presented by Claire and Enzo. Our podcast is produced in London. Some conversations are just too long for a voice note. Hi, he's Enzo. And she's Claire. And this is Too Long for a Voice Note. Hi, guys. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Welcome We're back. back. Thank you so much for joining us again for another episode of our to beautiful voice podcast. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you yes. for joining us this week. Um, on the top of everything, we want to say thank you for subscribing mm-hmm. to our channel. We are 100, finally. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boom, boom, 100 boom, subscribers boom, on our YouTube boom. channel. So thank you to everybody that is subscribed That's on YouTube. Awesome. It seems like a really small number, but for us, this is so efficient. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> but for us, it's so important, guys. No, no but really, it's true. It yeah. feels like, you know, we're working on this every single week mm-hmm. and we do it with our love and passion. So it's yes. nice to see, like, you guys supporting us, liking our videos, sharing with people sure. you like, and subscribing. That's really yeah. how we get our thing back. We get something back. Sure. So we're happy yeah. for that. Thank so, you so much yes. for that. We really do appreciate it. So remember, yeah. if you haven't subscribed yet, this is the bottom here. Or oh, here. Subscribe, okay, whatever it is. and like, and share, <laughs> and, do and all please of those do things. comment because it keeps us up on that algorithm. So yeah, it's so cool. We're back this week. Like, how's been your week? It's How, been good. What's, well, what's new? What's new? What's new? Tell what me. What is new? I had my vaccine in my little Ooh. arm this morning. Good. I took my little plaster off. How? How? You know. How amazing it is that Claire, she got just her back scene and she's already walking. She's working for the podcast. It got me. Uh, when I get my back scene, I will be like, you know, I'm off. I'm literally off. I need to like, rest. And they've taken a two-week I, I, leave I, of yeah. absence. I need like a green juice. I need like, you know, it's a lot. <laughs> no, how awesome it is. I'm proud of you that like you are love. like... Yeah, I just sort of get it open done are with you, one of my best friends. Are you feeling so, good? Absolutely fine. Good. It's nice. a bit sore, to be honest, but the lady mm. told me to take... She said to us, take some paracetamol now. Okay. I was a bit scared. It was I, I, I very bet, bizarre. Right. Like, I mean, everyone was so professional, but it is a bit strange. You're like, wow, this this is serious. Because obviously... You we... showed me a picture and it's like in a tent kind of thing. So it's very like, you know, like serious shit. Kind it was of like, serious. Uh, I was like, when, where's the snack? There was no snack. I was expecting... <laughs> where's the wine? Where, As a, will you we know... be having the wine later or which? No, it's just like everyone was just sat there. It was really bizarre. Yeah. But um, but yeah, super professional. Got it done. The lady who did the vaccine was very nice. I think the NHS um, is doing like a great job with the vaccination. They are. They really, really are. Yeah. They are really rolling it out quickly. That, that's so. really good. Yeah. yeah. So it's good that you got already your first, first one. Dose, you'll hopefully, be hopefully gonna get mine. Yeah. The thing is, I'm so young, guys. So young. Yeah. I haven't got an invitation exactly. yet. He'll be probably August. So, um, best, uh, so. Because you know, I'm, I'm on the twenties. <laughs> Look at the year. face. Such a little baby. <laughs> but yeah, it's no, good it's to get awesome. it get it going. Yeah. I mean, we need to like this is the solution we have for now to yeah, like of move forward so it's amazing you got your yeah. vaccine love how was your week love it was a okay week um i don't want to complain about it too much because it's <laughs> gonna be the same as last week it's like we're, we're almost in june and you know it's gray and rainy and cold i don't want to complain about it again so it's been an okay week i think it's a bit down because of it i think it's been too too long too long one, too long for a winter too long for, <laughs> too long I mean, for this call really so like it's a bit like if to any of know. our listeners or people that are watching who are not based in london like really the weather is it's, it's just a, atrocious I, I think since i'm um since i moved here probably this is the worst like yeah waiting time ever like it's been incredible. There's been like, like storms. Long. Yeah, like crazy shit. So, you know, that always... You're such a Brit now. Look at you talking about the weather. Because you weather, know Brits I know. always talk about the weather. And I mean, I like... get it now. I, I mean, you talk about the weather because everything is around that. Yeah. I mean, like, you got... It's cold for eight months in a row. So it's a bit like... I know. At least it was fun anyway. But yeah, the so week is a bit that. down. Grey, rain, but it's been okay. It's been a bit flat. Yeah. Even though I've been doing a few, a few things, but nothing like too spectacular to tell you. <laughs> okay. Spectacular. Well, there was something we wanted to talk about because we get a lot of questions about this. Ah, about like... We get a lot of questions about our vagina poster. Uh, our vaginas. <laughs> Why do we have a vagina poster? Can you tell us more? Can you tell do you the... want to tell the story? You tell or... the story. Okay, you're like, well... You tell the story. You tell the story. You do it. You're like, tell the story. Tell the story now. Yeah. Well, um, when me and Enzo were becoming friends, we met in 
August 2019. Probably, yeah. Like, nobody cares, but yes, we're going to get the story. (laughs) Sorry, I have to be like, these are the dates. And then we were becoming friends. And I think, actually, this is one topic that I think will be interesting to talk about, is making friends as an adult. That's a good good topic for for, for a future episode. We'll save it for another week, but we were becoming friends. I remember we had a friendship date. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember, It was in, like, the... We went to Canada. It was in, like, December or something, because it was before your birthday. It was just before my birthday, around early December or late November. And, of course, it was raining and... Like uh, of course, but we went to yeah. Camden, Camden, yeah, and we went to the Vagina Museum, which is this really cool, like I would say, like a pop up kind of I, I think museum. I don't know if it's still there. I don't know, but yeah, no. <laughs> museum. Like, I know there's so many vaginas out there in Camden still. I know, I and it's super cute, and it's like all the diff- like everything to do with vaginas. It's like super feminine. And like, and it's very health and, oriented as well, yes, right? Yeah. And how to take care of your vagina, blah, blah, blah. And like, there's like different sculptures of vaginas. It's great. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's a good time. And they had this amazing poster. And so I bought it. So it's kind of funny. Like, exactly. It's kind of like the background of the podcast, as for now. And yeah. it was the thing like kind of start our friendship in exactly, a way. Exactly. Like a full sure. circle moment. Yeah. Like... So we thought it would be like a fun thing to yeah. put in the background. But we but will it... be changing the set soon, probably. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering what is this they are their vaginas they are exactly what you think they are <laughs> that's correct <laughs> and we like it. it it looks kind of cool right i think it looks really cool also it's very artsy and the colors Definitely. i think the colors always fit everything i don't know i, I think it's kind of it's very like um yeah very like young london it's feminist true. i mean yeah. we talk a lot about feminist oriented topics sure. so i guess it's fitting yeah but yeah, that's, so that's why we have the that. the story of the vagina that's on my wall, and yeah. that's that. And yeah, so now now you know. Now you know. Now I remember you know. on that um, friendship date, it's, did you have this as well? It's like, you know, because you know when you're friends as an adult, yeah. it's like you're dating, you know? And it's like, I that's remember... That's so true, it's saying, like a date. I remember saying to my best friend, oh, I really like Enzo, mm-hmm. I hope he likes me. It's like a date, he, it's, it's true. It's so weird. You have, the, you have the tension of a date. Because you're not locked in yeah, like yeah. you are with your old friends. So it's true. like, but thank God we got through the initial first For somehow, b- vaginas did help us. <laughs> And then we have amazing oh, pizza, a oh. If you live in London, if you're mm. a, if you're a vegan or not, um, yeah. you need to go to Porezza. Amazing. It's like an amazing vegan That's restaurant, cool Italian. Brand. It's really good and pizzas. And they do delivery now. They've got a restaurant in Brixton now. It's like Porezza, can you want you want us? Do you want to be the sponsor us? us? <laughs> Imagine us like eating a pizza from Porezza oh. every single week. Oh, I can Think eat about that Brezza. right Think now. About us. Honestly. <laughs> Anyway, so that's that that's said. That, that being that. said, I think it's time for <laughs> Claire's secret topic of the week. I'm gonna go first this week. Okay. And I hit wanted me. <laughs> hit, me. <laughs> hit me. Hit me with a topic. <laughs> Do it now. I'm ready. Is it, is it like intense topic this no, week? No, not at all. Okay, good. I don't know why Enzo's giving me like side eye. Like, <laughs> I think it's because he doesn't know what I'm going to bring no up. I idea. actually have no idea what it's about. So. Don't you? No idea. Don't you? Did we talk about something about we it? We have recently? spoken about okay. this. Um, but I wanted to talk about this new, it's not really new, but I want to talk about Cottagecore. Oh, uh, yeah, we had yeah. a conversation, I remember, yeah. It's um, a very interesting thing. So for you, uh, those of you that don't know what Cottagecore is, it's essentially an aesthetic so for our youtube watchers i'm gonna put some images on the screen now but for our audio listeners the aesthetic is very kind of rural um romantic uh countryside old english kind of like cottages kind of like floral uh prints prints um, kind of okay imagine like it's like yeah very like natural yes very okay. and that kind of thing so that's kind of the aesthetic of it's it. maybe what you think about england back in the day you know when completely like when pride you, and prejudice kind it, of exactly novel. like jane, exactly. jane austen, austen like is based on this type completely. of aesthetic probably yes jane austen movie um, movie book sorry yeah so that's kind of the aesthetic of it but there's also a whole kind of lifestyle that accompanies this hmm. so it's very much about kind of um, crafting and living off of the land and foraging okay. and baking. And so maybe not surprisingly, Cottagecore really took off in 2020. 
because okay. we were all forced into our homes. Like, you know, we all had this phase of the lockdown of baking, like the, the banana bread of was the course. thing, like baking banana bread. Banana bread. Who didn't? Exactly. Who didn't bake a banana bread? <laughs> I certainly did. I actually, I, I actually did. want to stop making banana bread again because I love it with some peanut nice. butter on there. Like some, mm. It's, it's I can yeah. eat that right now. Okay, so it's like, I think um, it's about like a celebration of like more back to back to bases, back to the roots Completely. type of life. It's, it's a natural. celebration of like slow living. Slow living, And okay. all of these different things. Obviously, there's a way that you can do cottage core, but it's become super popular with the younger generation and okay. it's super popular on TikTok. So a lot of people say it's kind of ironic because as you might imagine, like part of cottage core is being off the grid and not being attached to technology and yet you're using technology to share this aesthetic uh, okay. but it's something that kind of connects people so i guess i wanted to kind of ask enzo if this is something that he would be interested in what do you think about it is this something that maybe appeals to you hmm. there you uh, go that's my topic the, um it's kind of like uh it's very like um a dream type of life yes. you feel I, I think because uh, we are so disconnected from that living in a big city and living like in a mm. city like London it's like brr, city so I guess it's a bit like a distant thing it seems yeah. like not real for us but do you think it's possible to have like a this type of lifestyle aesthetic living in the city do you think it's possible to maybe put it together your life <gasps> I like don't know. adapted somehow it's a really good question because from what i've seen of um you know big youtube accounts that kind of celebrate the cottage core lifestyle they do seem to be very they live in like rural areas so it has to be like yeah mm. but i'm sure there is a way to kind of bring it in i think there is part of me it, it kind of does appeal in yeah. a way i don't think in Some reality yeah like i don't think you, you think like um they for example one question. Do you think it's something related to veganism, maybe? Are they vegan? Or no, not at all? No. It's not related to this type of, like, um, healthiness as well? Not, not really. really, but it not is really. really linked to sustainability. Okay. So it's yeah. kind of like a rejection of the fast-paced modern style of living, which is obviously very, like, disposable and, like, use yeah. it once and chuck it away and, and then next and that kind of thing. It's like a rejection yeah. of that. So, yeah, it's, it's interesting that you picked up on that. Not necessarily veganism, I think, but... Um, but also, again, maybe into health, they're very into like um, baking from scratch and knowing exactly what goes into your food. So not pick like up fast your food. food pick up, but yeah, because if, if you have a farm, you will like grow yes, your own stuff and use that to like your... Completely. And that's, oh, that's it. Like, so what, interesting. Eating yeah. the, what you've grown from the land, mm -hmm. foraging, as I've said. Like one girl was... Um, she was making like um, dandelion um, cookies. Wow. For getting them. <laughs> Oh, did you? I was like, it's so cute, but yes, it's. I, I think it's an interesting ideology, and also they've um they've made a link. Like this isn't actually the first time that this sort of thing has happened. I thought this was super interesting that um the kind of hippie movement back in like the sixties and seventies was, was actually a rejection of like the big kind of economic boom and that kind of you know work until you're dead yeah. like that kind of thing it's so not about that it's about like enjoying the moment being present being slow appreciating what you have kind of thing do you think it's very like um it's a privilege to have a life like that do you think if yes. you are aiming for a life like that it's something like it's i'm going like there like mm -hmm. is it a privilege from white people to have this type of life <laughs> I, yeah. I, don't, I don't want to make it like heavy but no, no, no. i was just thinking like it's a good point. because like um i guess uh, yeah, when you have like, I don't know, like a 10 hours a day kind of job and mm. you live in a, I don't know, far yeah. from everything, yeah. like it's difficult to maybe have like something like that. I don't Completely. know. Completely. I think that, yeah, it is, it is a privilege. And I think, yeah, like the, a privilege to be able to have the time to, to do that, obviously. And if you're trying to like, mm. say if you're a single mom and you're trying to like feed your family, you might but, not have time to make a dandelion <laughs> cookie, for example. <laughs> <laughs> to pick up your own apples but you know it's kind of like interesting because i think if you're living in the countryside that you will be like easier it will be easier for you to have this type of life because that's what you have most likely most likely, most likely right yeah if you yeah hmm, i think it's, so it's an interesting one thing. thing that um people have criticized cottage core of doing is of being very white and um very straight as well but hmm. with the rise of tiktok they've actually found that um specifically randomly like um lesbian women have been able to find a mm. space there 
and kind of hmm. explore this kind of thing and also people of color as well um and that because a big group yeah it's time. getting a lot more inclusive and i think that's kind of like the beauty of social media in a way because Definitely. they Definitely, yeah. um especially in america i was watching uh, a video where this this girl she's black she was saying that you know obviously there are connotations with that kind of older time with slavery in america Makes so this sense. is her way of like reclaiming kind and of like how change the narrative of completely. something yeah. so she's doing her own spin on cottage core and quite i think it's an interesting thing and i think that maybe this is something that the pandemic might have taught us and i think a lot of us probably have enjoyed myself included and mm-hmm. you as well like that slower pace of life Definitely. i don't think i will go and the, we, we won't go full cottage core you, you don't I'm think not, you'll be like wearing like a linen flower dress and like picking oh. up your apples in the morning i think i'm just like, so highly impatient i would just be like i don't care about, i don't care <laughs> I, I get it's like i wish i could be more like that i really wish i could be and i obviously love cooking and baking and all but of that kind of not stuff, in but, that type of setting oh, I, I guess i love the idea of it i think the beauty of this new lifestyles or trends or things that are coming back mm. i think it's like because it's difficult if you live in a city or if you live in London or wherever you live to go fully on it. Yeah. But I think it's good to maybe pick things from this that you can adapt to your, let's yes. say, real life. And say, for example, like, okay, maybe you can go and pick up your own apples <laughs> in the farm because it's nothing close to you. Mm. But you can adapt things like slowing down, cooking more, making more maybe, and all the being things. More like, present, being more Being more present. So like yeah. maybe try to disconnect from, from technology and more be more present in things. Spend more time outdoors, I guess. It's funny as Ways well. to like, kind of like... Bring it into kind bring of it in. life. And because I think, that's yeah. it. The, that's the key, I guess. One thing I really <clears> do <throat> like doing, it's um, an activity, like I have a balcony and I find it so relaxing to mm-hmm. like tend to the flowers. What What does you mean with tend to the flowers? Tend to the flowers. What's tend? Oh, it's like um, look after the flowers. Like um, ah, cream them, uh, okay. water them. Oh, oh, so the whole activity is called tend. Yeah, okay. tend, tend, tend. The more you know. <laughs> the Learning more you with know. Clarita. Learning with Clarita some new English words. <laughs> but I find it so relaxing, yeah. like just like trimming off like the dead thing. I don't know, I'm just trying to say that. <laughs> I like gardening no, a bit, no, basically. But, so. but to be honest, not everybody likes gardening. You no. know, it's interesting because I really like it. As, I mean, I discovered recently since I have like a garden now. Yeah. Like I really, I'm really like gardening. And you know, like when you talk about this with some people, they're very like, oh, you know, it's not common. Like everybody likes to spend time with the f- training stuff and like you removing the soil, planting some seeds. It's mm. not like uh, the most common thing. And I think it's very like old school. Like yes, I think my grand, so. my grandfather, he was used to love it, but yeah, it's very yeah, like. Yeah, yeah older people they used to like it so it's kind of cool that yeah. which is makes sense is related to this trend Completely. because it's like going back to what we used to do back in the day but that's the thing isn't it and i think yeah. what is interesting about cottage core is that it's so highly cozy and mm-hmm. like nostalgic and comforting and it makes perfect sense to me that in this horrific time where the world yeah. is so yeah. un- so uncertain and like you don't know if your loved ones are going to make it yeah. like that you would turn to like baking yeah. and like Something making like so, and like um, doing art and gardening. Yeah, it's so yeah, yeah. pure, and pure, I think yeah. it's actually really lovely. Yeah, really connected with the like um, nature, with our nature to yeah. like create. You know, because they're like cooking. Uh, all all these things are very like close to us yeah. it's like because we do with our hands we mm. use our brain your mm. mind so it's very like and something that we lose a lot nowadays because sometimes yes. um in normal life let's say you don't normally we take takeaways so somebody's cooking for you mm. you don't take care of the plants you don't bake at home so you don't have time to make any art for example yeah. that. so i think it's going back to that to like connect with yeah. creation in some way I which think, i find yeah. interesting so what would you like to take from like if you were going to bring in anything from like the cottage core aesthetic and like you know, what would you... I think... Um, um, I'm thinking... May I would like to bake more. Yeah. It would be cool. Because I used to do it for a bit. But the thing is, like... I mean, I tried to bake some stuff, though. You make, like, a good vegan cheesecake. I did. I'm quite proud of it. Because it was, like, a whole thing. Um, <laughs> it was, like, a lot to learn from vegan cheesecake. Because, yeah. you know... Um, I think the being present thing, especially now that we're going back to real life and like fast yeah. speed, then, 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 
it's a bit um, being present and try to find moments to stay calm, grounded, and all of that. Mm-hmm. I would like to spend more time in nature, I think. I would like to go for more hikes and, like, mm-hmm. make the effort because it's not that difficult. Especially, like, if you live in London, you have too many trains yeah, yeah, to yeah. everywhere. Yeah, in an hour, sure. you can go to, like, some side outside London that will be, like, a great hike or something. And it's something that I, I, I always... I never pay a lot of attention, but right. something now I'm thinking, like, I will, you can do something if you want twice a month go for a hike or take a train or go somewhere else and like be in connection with nature so I think yeah, that will it's so important isn't it yeah because that's the thing I think you can't ultimately sort of like uh, outrun your nature and outrun our nature like yeah. as much as we try like you just do that's why they say like with mental health like one of the best things you can do is to be in nature for sure. because it's we're organic it, yeah organic we're matter. organic well yeah. yeah so what we're going to do now is I'm going to give Enzo 60 seconds <coughs> to tell us what he's taken away from <coughs> this conversation about cottagecore. I just want to be like cottagecore. And With that voice. Ah, like, ah, <laughs> 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 right, tell us what you've learned about cottagecore. Go. I found a really interesting thing and I found funny, funny, not if the word is funny, but found interesting how like things like Pinterest or different parts of social media has helped this kind of trends to like form or could or go yes. back to like the surface again it's funny how internet in a way um allow us to put some ideas together and create like something new like this in the middle of things i don't know i find it interesting i think it's yeah. very like a pinterest true, true because true, it's very yes. visual as well yeah. so you kind of like yeah. put together this idea and you try to imagine a life i think it helps kind of to like visualize like a life in a different way when you put all of this together and you're like oh i would like to have something like this and maybe it's difficult but maybe you can add things to your life like Mm -hmm. okay maybe Mm -hmm. it's a lot of nature here so let me add nature in my house or where i live let me try to add this type of thing so so i think it's very interesting and i don't know if i will have that type of aesthetic for life because i think i like cities and fast stuff but i think it's cool you're done i'm afraid you're done you go girl and you use your like (laughs) flower dresses no actually maybe i could try this for a week or something yeah what if i like it i would love to do that kind of like off the grid yeah uh for a week situation i think i would like to have like a cottage house kind of thing and do it you know going for like once a month that would be amazing just to like completely like decompress recharge that would be awesome so you can have you can go there and spend like two days and have this dream thing, amazing and then go back to your normal crazy life <sighs> how much more balance could you feel if you had that yeah that I would think, be awesome that would yeah. be really crazy I think if we can do it now because we don't have for, for example the money to buy a, a second house or like a first one but like a second yeah. I think mean, it's like wow okay but at least you, if you go for holidays maybe some of your holidays you can focus to find something around this something like it's not so connected but try to disconnect completely true, maybe you can yeah. try to have like an, this experience and try to see how it works you know i heard that there mm. are these places where you can go and just be off the grid they don't allow technology but you get to hang out with baby goats i was like where is this place that, where do i go where do i, where, where I go <laughs> i would like to do it and maybe goats and like cows as well cows seem very love nice cows. cows are pretty and they seem to be oh. very friendly so cute. Well, I want to go see the baby guys. Like, do you know what I am scared of though? What? Pigs. Pig, that, they can be a bit aggressive, right? Do you know they'll eat you alive? Oh, fuck my life. They eat you alive. They, I heard this story about this woman who's like, what, clearly why we live in London. I heard this that story about this woman who like, yeah. raised these pigs. Okay. They, that was her, their mum. Okay. So they had a, a bond, clearly a fake bond. Yeah. She got stuck in the mud on the farm. Mm-hmm. The pigs ate her alive. Ate her down to the bone and so they didn't find her. They ate her. This is the most scary story I've heard about, like, this type of thing. How savage is that? <laughs> That's crazy. That's fucking big. They all ate her. So they're not loyal. They're not loyal. They will turn on you. Oh, my God. That's why I'm scared of pigs. I don't think don't like get a... stuck in the mud around a yeah, pig, people, I, I, okay? I don't think like a cow would do that, ever. Because no. No, they're vegetarian, like, They're anyway, vegetarian, yeah. yeah. They're vegan, in fact. Yeah, they're vegan. Cows. Ironically... <laughs> Ironically, know, they're yeah. vegan. I know. They're, <laughs> the irony, they're too good for of, this world. irony of, of it all. I know. Um, but there you wow. go about pigs. So they look okay. really cute, but they, maybe they are. Maybe I don't want to have this type of life. But you know, they always say, this is a bit um, dark, but they always say if you want to bury a body, you should throw them in with the pigs. I think there's some movie about this. I watched a Scandi drama recently and they it, that they did that. They did. I don't want to say which. I the think more the you know. But yeah, they, they hid the body by feeding it to the pigs. Wow. Okay. <laughs> 
brand new information. I, you'll never look at pigs the same way. Um, definitely no. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> I think I'll stay in South London, thanks. I think I'm staying here. <laughs> it's <laughs> fine. You know, I like the dirt It's not It's not that bad. It's okay, we get COVID, but it's all right. So, now it's time for Enzo's secret topic of the week. So, my topic this week... I want to like my topic <laughs> this week. This is my Italian, Italian side. side. <laughs> um, the topic. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> let's just say he does have Italian background. He's not so being hideously I, like racist. I know being racist. I can do it. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, my grandfather used to be like that. Ah, and screaming all like the time. Like in a genuine way. Like a genuine way. That, it was literally the cliche of Italian, my wow. grandfather. The Napoli. The Napoli. Side. I mean, he was from Naples, so. My nonna was more reserved, but more she reserved. was northern. You got northern. No, yeah, my grandpa reserved. was like, eh, no, like screaming and hands. And yeah, it wasn't. So I'm allowed, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, well, my topic um, yesterday night, I was on a family dinner, and you know, my family asked me, like, are you filming the podcast tomorrow? I was like, yes, of course. And they were like, oh, do you have a topic? I was like, I don't have a topic. They were like, let's do a like, brainstorm. And we started talking about different things. And there was one topic that I thought was very interesting suggestion. So I changed my topic from this week. Yeah. So my topic, before it's kind, it's serious. It's a serious topic. But before starting it, I want to say, like, I want us to have a conversation about it. This is not like facts, facts, facts. Like it's not facts or something like, super rigid so if i say something wrong or something that it's not okay. um accurate just please forgive us and let us know in the comments if you want to like say something because you know it's it's a topic that i think i'm learning and probably you're learning as well i think okay, we are all learning about this so you know if something comes out you know way way that you don't think is the right one please i have a feeling i know what let it is know, but let us know. don't keep me hanging yeah, maybe, but yeah maybe you, you, you're like but yeah but yeah <laughs> So anyway, I, I want to see at the top of, of all of it. So, you know. Oh, hello. So, so we started talking about this uh, cover from Elle magazine, which mm-hmm. was very, like, revolutionary and very, like, breaking boundaries. Uh, it was with Oli Ellie. They are a non-binary model. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Have you seen the cover? No, I haven't. They are, like, um, mm-hmm. covering the, bre- the chest. Okay. Tattoos, very, like, striking image. I mean, the cover is really cool. The cover is an interesting topic because the first time to, like, Elle magazine, which is a very, like, female magazine, display a non-binary person on the cover and give the platform to talk about how it feels to be a non-binary person, yes. how it's the struggles, how, like... I read the interview, and I think it was a really cool interview because it explains a lot. So if you have the chance, we're going to leave the link here. Yeah, so you may understand better how what it means to be a non-binary person which is basically is what you don't identify with your gender even if you're a male or a female you don't identify with any of them so you are non-binary which is also like Demi Lovato came as a non-binary really? this week I didn't know that yeah oh, and you know uh, Sam Smith is also like a famous person as non-binary so the interesting part of the of this was talking about because the topic came up because we we're talking about like oh it's interesting how humans that we have, we feel the necessity to put people or what we see into labels mm-hmm. and categories, right? Everything comes from, from because Andres, he say like, he saw the um, Mac, the cover on the newsstands mm-hmm. and the newsstands, it's such an American word, right? The yeah, newsstands. Yeah, 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 no, no. Oh, well, everybody was in Sainsbury's, I don't mm-hmm. know. And immediately he was thinking like, is this person a man or a woman? Uh-huh. So that was his first thought. And when I saw the the, the magazine, when I didn't know anything about it, I, I thought about the same. Like, oh, also because it's L magazine, it's a female magazine. Yes. So it's like, is it a woman? Is it a man? So the conversation was around this. Like, how interesting it is, like, and why? And why, like, we have this necessity of to put something into a category mm-hmm. straight away. Mm-hmm. And how this is maybe shifting or changing with time. So I feel at the end is how we are... Because it's a perception. Mm-hmm. Because I can feel whatever feel that way I feel. But then somebody will have a different perce- perception. But I shouldn't care about it. Which normally, like, if you feel like a woman, and you feel like a woman, mm-hmm. who cares if the person thinks I look as what a man is kind of thing, you know? Yes. This goes to the point of if I consider myself a man and I'm wearing, like, a dress, I'm still a man. Yes. Or somebody will be like, oh, why, she, why he's wearing, like, a woman's clothes? Yeah. So we were having all this conversation about, mm-hmm. like, ta- tag, labels, and what does it really mean to, like, all this gender um, 
like identity, topic, identity and like kind of like what really makes us different and why we have so many issues with like I mm. said like if you are if you feel like you're a woman you're born as a woman you identify with that but you like to wear masculine clothes why I will have a problem with it and I need to put it in a box like oh but she's a woman why well, he's wearing like men's clothes and yes, why we always yeah. go to that yeah. and yeah I don't know I wanted to talk about about it because I think it was a very like um it's very like a <laughs> new age topic and i'm glad that we are talking about this more and more and more because sure. as she's uh, as they say in the interview it's um now like you have the opportunity to explain more and to put your feelings and how you feel into something like uh it took for for they took a lot of time to identify us what it was because it, it's like I feel like a woman, so yeah. I like a woman, so I'm a lesbian. But then it was like, oh, no, but I'm not also a lesbian because I don't like, you know, it's kind of like this whole thing. I think, yeah, thing. It's, it's a very interesting thing. And I think that this is something that, again, like the new generation, although, you know, we both have like trans friends and also friends who are not trans who yeah. are um, like gender fluid as well. It's yeah. another way of, yeah, kind yeah. of describing it. So, yeah, it's something that I've always been aware of and then you know like a family mm -hmm. situation as as well i think that it's a really refreshing thing i think that a lot of people will sadly have a really hard time with it because i yeah. think as humans we just love to categorize things we really struggle when yeah. we can't put things or people in boxes um or when people don't do what you expect them to do like for example we spoke one week about uh, motherhood and how that's probably an expectation for me and people would freak yeah. out if you choose not to be a mother if, if you're uh, a woman so i think this kind of falls into the same category. kind of category as yeah. well and it's i don't know what it is in our brains that kind of i think it's just very sort of like an old school thing like that's the way that society was set up of course like we should probably well we should say like at the top i'm sure everybody knows this like gender is a made-up thing right yeah. like sex is not made up sex is male mm. or female but gender is a completely constructed thing um so it's really up to you to kind of interpret that however you want to interpret yeah. that and, and it should and it's very personal i think i find interesting how like we need to react in some certain way and to say like no that's not okay or that's not right because it doesn't fit what you think and that's completely someone else's own problem i would yeah. say because it's like it's really not bothering you the guy that we speak about a lot he's cis um cis means mm -hmm. you know like you um are the, the, you the gender was assigned exactly you yeah, but is you your, to that. so and so yeah. and i are both cis yeah um, but he is this heterosexual man and he is like, you know, like a big guy. He's probably like in his 50s or something, like yeah. a shaved, bald head. Uh, yeah. But he wears stilettos because he likes it. And he's really taken the internet by storm. By and it's, storm, you know, yeah. and I think maybe some people will find themselves being uncomfortable with that. I have to say, I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm so cool and like new age. I, I don't really, I don't find it. I'm but not uncomfortable you, you with it. You find it really at all. refreshing, actually. You I told just, me. I think it's really refreshing and I think it's, it's really cool and really. Um, you know, just because maybe as a woman, yeah, so many things about gender and being a woman, it, we speak about this nearly every week on the podcast, mm -hmm. so kind of binding and so boring. And I think when I see somebody kind of taking gender and like flipping mm -hmm. it on their head, I just, I find it so, I, I don't really, I, I'm trying to think of a better word, but like brave. Brave, yeah, and yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Hit him, I'll try and find his name in the insert yeah. picture. You know, he just so like, it's a good whatever, yeah. I'm doing me, I like to wear high heels. Why not? It's, it's yeah, it's such a, at the end of the day, it makes, when you think a lot about it, I think sometimes, I don't, I don't know why we can, we are afraid to it, but I think it's because of religion and tradition, all of that. Yes. We are afraid to go to these places sometimes. Of course, it's changing the new generation. Probably they won't have any issues because we were saying, I was telling that to my cousin, like probably um, her son, because he, he has like one year old, probably he will, will not have this issue. He will just get it like yeah. straight away. Like, you know, I don't think the new generation, we have as many things uh, like, oh, what is this? Or what is that? Or why doesn't know? It would be like, it is what it is. Like, it could be an easy ask to ask to the person how do you identify with yeah, if I, you need to know or if you yeah. want to like be respectful but not like I think the problem is when we we don't accept and we want to like be like why it's like you know why in the sense of like 
it's wrong. Why is your why you have to feel different? Yeah, oh, that's I would just a ask somebody problem. who says why or it's wrong. Is just like why? Why do you have a problem with it? Exactly. What is it in yourself that's making you yeah. feel uncomfortable with somebody expressing their own identity? And yeah. I think the pronoun they is very interesting because you know it's sort of I I completely can understand that of mm-hmm. not feeling like you identify with being male mm-hmm. or female and you know it kind of one thing I, I think it kind of links to kind of I know it's not really the same thing mm-hmm. but it's pansexual right pansexual. That's the, the kind of um feeling where you're not attracted to the gender it's more about the but person like uh, Dan Levy's character in Schitt's Creek yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. He, um, he's pansexual. Yeah, in the so you're not attracted to the gender; you're just attracted to the person. And I think that maybe that kind of that kind of reminds me of being a they, or like taking elements of things that you like from a gender, which isn't even a real thing anyway, and then kind of making it about you as a person. And we're all so unique anyway. That's interesting. And I yeah. actually think yeah. I don't know about you, but yeah. I think there's probably a, I would if I thought about it longer. I think there's so many things that I. I do that maybe I'm not crazy about just because it's a thing that women do mm, okay. and women I mean there's nothing that I like really suffer through because I think I will probably be like I don't want to do that yeah but do you know what I mean like maybe for some women it might be like shaving their legs they I really hate doing it but they just do it because you're it's, pressure it's, to it's do like it strange for a woman to have yeah. hairy legs that's do you know what I mean and do you have anything that's so right like, no, I think like it's well for example like clothing it's like a thing you know like we are sc- think like men should be in a way and women should be in a way so when you know if you're something super extravagant people will like criticize or make comments on it like why is so extravagant why does it so weird why is so feminine and this is part of these little things like mm-hmm. it's part of like it, it's just like we need to remember that this is all things that we create like there's no it's not like we came on the earth with a book which somebody tell us you need to be like this it's, some people think that though. some people think that but it's <laughs> This is all man created. Like somebody wrote that book. Somebody wrote a book. It's like it's you know we all together during time we're creating all these ideas that nothing is real kind of thing. You know what I mean? Nothing is yeah, something maybe. like it's not a, a tree. It's real because I was like, like a proper. You know yes. what I mean? Like our being us being human. We are a real thing because we come. You know like mm. I don't know like life. I know it's going too deep maybe, but yeah. the rest is all things that we are adding and mm. we are creating because we think. So I find so weird, like, when we kind of, like, fighting with somebody because they feel different from our point of view, what is right. I think it's good. I think we're moving into a right direction of let people do whatever they want to do because they're not affecting you in any way. They're not hurting you in any way. Mm -hmm. And I found this case of awesome because they are explaining, like, how it took time to find where to locate themselves because... uh, before as uh, they were a she mm-hmm. and for a long time she was struggling in the time like where i fit until found the middle point which is like a gray area kind of thing not mm-hmm. a gray area in a bad way but uh, they say like gray in the sense i'm in the middle i'm at a point in the middle and it's fine and i'm feel here i'm okay and and it it's a, a lot about like i can wear whatever i want to wear and i'm fine because they say, like, I didn't want to remove my breasts, for example, because for me, it's not about that. But I can um, wear masculine clothes if I want. Okay. And something really interesting is that, like, it doesn't matter what I want to wear. It, does, it shouldn't, like, be a problem. Like, you yes. know, like, if I feel I'm, um, I'm a man, but I like to wear female clothes, that's not a problem. And they explain that, like... I don't like dresses too much, but if I choose to like be more feminine mm. today, that doesn't should be like, oh, why she was wearing, why they're wearing a dress to that now? If, yeah, if so they now feel you're like, female. Now you're female, yes, and it's yeah. that little thing. So I think it's really interesting. I think we're, hopefully we're changing to more like, I think so too. people need to do whatever they feel. It's good. It, why, I mean, it's so bad that we stop people with our judgment to feel whoever, what they are fully, because we have opinions on mm. others, you know, because affects, you know, a lot of people like, bullies or people talk about others or like the appearance of others you are help you're like part of the problem because you are yeah. stopping them to feel fully who they are and be fully happy so that's why we need to stop yeah and this that. is why it's important and it's great that l has chosen to you know kind of 
let's Especially make L. this kind of yeah. yeah like feature this because it's you know it's it's really really important that you do have like we all know like representation really really matters with mm-hmm. you know people of color lgbt people and in this case as well you know there are a lot of individuals that will identify as they or um, gender fluid so it's really good that especially they, l l yes. i think it's a very like a straight female very like mainstream fashion, i would say mainstream. even vogue is more like alternative maybe yeah kind of l, thing. i feel very like superstars like, yes. very like beauty kind of thing Completely. so i think this is very like it's explained a lot and yes. i think as you say like this move it means so much for so many people yeah. and it's important to also remember the fact that it doesn't affect you or you don't feel connected to it, it doesn't mean it doesn't should exist it's or just, you shouldn't it, care it's, just, it's, it's very it's, frankly it's like your yeah. problem if, if you have yeah. a problem with lgbt people trans people gender fluid non-binary people it's, it's your problem you need to go to therapy problem. i'm sorry <laughs> i mean the vaccine <laughs> is like, making me demon <laughs> they're like go to therapy. fuck you go to therapy because yeah <laughs> It's not affecting but you know you. I don't really like that because it makes people you know number one like a lot of trans people are really unsafe so it's actually a really really serious thing yeah, and it's, yeah, for sure. if you have a problem it's, it's your problem so, literally you know That's don't, don't put your shit on other people Basically. I think this is a natural kind of like add on to gender roles changing it is you know? and, it's a pro- like uh, it's natural not all women yeah. have to have children not all people need to get married like it's yeah. okay to be gay like you know all of this kind of thing so I think this is a good thing about having this space to for people to explore themselves and and we need say, to be open to learn yeah like pick that that suits mm-hmm. me get rid of that i don't want that yeah. maybe on this day i think it's just so cool and refreshing and like that, 2021 people literally like, as we human we have the freedom to feel as good as we can feel you know as good as we can so that's yeah, really important everyone freedom. should be free to be whoever they want to be as long as you're as free as you want as possible that's the, yeah. that's the goal always Definitely so Claire well. I mean we basically have like a, a conclusion out of this but yeah. you got extra 60 seconds on the spot to t- say everything <laughs> whatever you feel you or sound you like think. some like Venezuelan like host like, or something like like you know like uh, Miss Venezuela <laughs> Miss Universe like you are on the spot Claire tell us it's very that's on my blood I guess so add, add a bit of drama, like okay. a drama spark. So you have 60 seconds to say whatever you want to say about this topic, the cover, what we're changing, what we're doing, and how the war is doing on this. So you go. Well, I think it's great that Elle have, you know, made this move and it's, it's very refreshing to see, like I said. I think that, of course, everyone should be completely free to express themselves. However, they damn well choose. And if you have a problem with it, your problem and I also think something I didn't say but I think it kind of relates back to Kosha Shakur as well that this is where social media can be great I know there can be a lot of kind of like trolls and bullying but I think that the internet could be a a hopefully like a safe space for people to explore themselves or connect with people who you know for example if you're living in like a small town and you don't you know in London obviously there's you know everyone and anyone here but it's a good way to kind of find a community in in that kind of way yeah what else um yeah I just hope that you know as kind of time goes on we can kind of find um you know people are just kinder to each other and let people do whatever they want to do and just you know we should all be happy and and maybe we should stop maybe you should know nothing (laughs) we don't care about your opinion anymore it's over (gasps) i'm curious for us to think about like if there are things that we do because of our gender chosen gender sure that we just do mindlessly that we don't actually i'm pretty sure of that i'm super super sure of that yeah. maybe we can reflect more on that and then come, sure. come back and tell you guys that could be an interesting thing Definitely. like like reflect on what things we do automatically without like not as a choice but more as because it's there for yeah. us I do think about that with makeup for example mm. because you know during the week when mm-hmm. I'm just working at home like I don't actually wear makeup yeah. but I do have to say that I do love makeup and I find it creative it's creative that's a good reason for it yes yeah. and I love like exploring like new colors products and and that so yeah kind of that, that will be like a reason so i do think that is kind of myself yeah. but you know I, I know that that might be something for people as well and maybe you know yeah probably interesting well, well guys this has been this week i hope you like our episode really interesting refreshing yeah. topics love. right it's very <laughs> interesting refreshing <laughs> topics <laughs> <laughs> i hope you like it as well guys and yeah. Um, yeah remember all the things remember to subscribe follow us on instagram yeah. like um everything. be you know be connected to us because we're always doing like polls and things and asking for like what topics you want us to talk about so Definitely. if we do something around instagram please vote and yeah Remember to 
leave us yeah. a comment and connect with us thank you guys so much for watching and listening and we'll see you next week bye, bye. guys